So let's go ahead and have our skaters take the track, please. Starts with 10 skaters on the track, five from each team. Each team has four blockers who form the, plat, the pack at the first line of the track. Behind the pack of blockers are the jammers. These are the ladies with the stars on their helmets. The jammers are the only ones who can score points for their team. The blockers help the jammers get through the pack while trying to stop the opposing team's jammer from getting through. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, and that tap is off. And we now have two minutes to complete this game. Now the jammers are going after the second whistle. You can see the jammers working their way through the pack. Now that first jammer, that first jammer to make it through the pack without any penalty is the lead jammer. And you can tell who the lead jammer is because the referee is pointing at that stage. Now the refs, they're always keeping a close eye on the pack to check the penalties like throwing elbows, some back block, and maybe some circle. And of course, you know what you can't do, you can never ever argue with the refs. <laughs> now committing a major penalty or four minor penalties to earn your skater a trip to the point. Now, luckily, the skaters can still hit check. They can still shoulder block. They can moody block. And they can also perform wits to help their team succeed. Now, the jammers have gone through the pack, and they're going to try to rack up some points for their team. They earn one point for each member of the opposing team that they pass legally. And that's the key word, legally. Now they're going to make their way through the pack. Only the lead jammer can stop the action before two minutes by touching her hips on, on her hands and calling off the jam. That's called calling off the jam. And the jammer can use this to preserve the point lead for her team. Yeah. 